welcome to week 16 of Nautical Nonsense uh, Rebuild, or I should say video 16, but it may also be week 16. This week's video uh, may be a little short, I've got a lot of personal stuff to do, and i uh, not been feeling that well this week. So anyhow, here we go. Hope you like the video. If you do, like and subscribe. Alright, so this is the rudder control arm, or hydraulic cylinder for the rudder controls. That pushes the rudder bar that controls that rudder and that rudder. I kept looking at this thing and it was so dirty in here. It's dirty up here. It's got this on it. And I'm like, all of this is going to be repainted. So I decided to take it out. And there it leaks fluid. So, so take it out. Degrease all this. Clean all this up. Check these hose. I might need to uh, clean those out. I might need to fiberglass them and read them with thickened epoxy and re-drill them. I don't know. I'll check that that board is fusing is fused with epoxy already, so I think it's fine. But to one get all this cleaned up, hydraulic hoses look good. Got some cracks because they were painted just from where the paint cracked when you bent the hose, but the hose looks good. So there's the two hoses that are laying over there, just throw it over there. Uh, so but not gonna replace those at this time. They look they look fine. So get this cleaned up, maybe paint this, that'll give me some satisfaction if I get this area cleaned out and painted and all this. Get the rudder control arms back on, get the rudder arm back in, get the cylinder cleaned up, get it back in. I did sand this down, I, I didn't get any video of this, I don't think I tried, but for some reason my camera didn't, I can't find it. But that's where the board was, so I've got that ready to go back with paint, put some uh, three or four level layers of glass uh, with the resin in there and uh, then I fared it just a little bit not much same thing on the port side several layers of uh, chop strand and some fiberglass I uh, didn't have to replace the wood over there it was hard as a rock but I did let it dry out and put the glass back over it and then a little fairing compound so that's ready to paint so let's so throw my control shaft something else that I got back from the machine shop Southern Marine or Southern Machine shop made the pipe for me. That thing's thick as a gun barrel. It, that's what it looks like. But uh, that should last a while. We were going to do stainless, but I uh, just couldn't find a piece of stainless that size that was affordable. That right there will last a long time. And like I said, that the hole on that the pipe's probably that big around, and the hole in it's about like that. It's like a looks like a gun barrel. A little heavier than what we had before, but I think it'll be all right. This is the paint I'm using to paint the bilge. It's a Sharon Williams, Sharon Williams tile clad HS. It's two parts. Uh, I've seen this on a sailboat form. The guy was talking about he used it. Uh, I think I paid like a hundred, hundred ten dollars. This will make two gallons. It's pretty thick. I should have got the thinner with it, but for what I'm using it for, I want it kind of thick. But uh, if I was trying to roll it instead of brush it, definitely would have to thin it, and you got to use their special thinner. But that's the paint I'm using. It's uh, bright white. So I just wanted to show you this. All right, guys, there's uh, a little bit of the paint. Sorry I didn't get a video of it. I'll put another coat on it tomorrow thin that paint down it was so thick but hopefully tomorrow I'll have all this down in here painted and put my rudder stuff back on and hopefully have all this back here painted and I doubt I'll get my boards in that'll probably be next week I had a lot of rain this week so I didn't make a much progress as I wanted
Guys, that's this week's video. Hope you enjoyed it. It was short and sweet, but uh, making some progress. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe. We'll do it again next week.